Let's get started. With the following all checked and with your Mac turned off, insert your Mac OS Sonoma USB boot disk in an available USB socket. Now, turn on your Mac and continue to press and hold the power button until you see the startup options gear icon. Click the Mac OS Sonoma icon, then on continue. Select an admin user you know the password for, then click next. Enter the admin user password and then continue. As we'll be doing a clean install of macOS Sonoma, we need to erase the current macOS Macintosh HD container disk. Therefore, with the macOS Sonoma install window shown, quit and confirm the install of macOS as shown here. You'll then be brought to the macOS recovery screen. Select Disk Utilities and click Continue. From the menu bar, click on View and select Show All Devices. Next, click on the container disk for Macintosh HD, then click on the Erase icon. Click on the Erase button shown here. Once the Erase process is complete, click Done and close Disk Utility, where you'll be brought to the Activation Lock window to activate your Mac. Click on Use Device Password, then enter the password that was previously used to unlock your Mac and click Next to continue. Once the activation process is complete and your Mac activated, click on Exit to Recovery, where you'll be brought to the Mac OS Sonoma Install Installation screen and click Continue. Next, after agreeing to the terms and after selecting Macintosh HD Disk as shown and click Continue, the installation of Mac OS Sonoma will begin. Don't pay too much attention to the minutes remaining. In my case on a Mac Studio M1 Max, the installation process took 11 minutes to reach the Hello screen. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, thumbs up if you like this episode, help keep this channel going and subscribe if you haven't already done so, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified of the next upcoming episode. Peace!